Well, hello there, and uh, welcome to Hillbilly Military Modeling. This is where I show you how I am approaching my model kits, and uh, I hope you like the video. Today's video is going to be on my next model kit, so this is a review. Uh, the kit is going to be a Soviet armored car, BA-3 by Zvezda in uh, 135th scale, and there are 137 parts in this kit, at least that's what the manufacturer says. And what we find in the box is two bags of parts, decals, uh, warning label, and instructions. quick look at the instructions and on the first page we see that there is um, a brief history on the BA-3 and also we have a sprue map but they don't give any call outs on what the parts are on the sprue map uh, some kits do to me it is really good about doing that now the instructions are laid out very simply and there's not too many parts in each one of the diagrams so it's fairly easy to follow you don't have a lot of arrows pointing all over the place uh, it seems to be programmed for beginners and this is a rather simple kit so it shouldn't be a problem now they do break it down into sub assemblies which you'll see on the left and your major assemblies which are on the right and you have to complete the sub assemblies before you can complete the uh, major steps in the instructions the instructions are written in both English and uh, in uh, Russian and looking at these instructions I can see first off that we have to modify the frame rails for the chassis in order to fit this kit but they give you complete instructions on how to do that the rest of the assembly looks pretty much straightforward now the running gear and the suspension isn't very complicated it should be a fairly quick build But what would you expect with 137 parts? There are multiple pieces to the wheels, so that may be a problem for painting. We'll just have to see. And last but not least, we have our paint callouts for our color scheme and also our decal placements. Now the decals are, as you can see here, it's a bad photo, I know, but it's white on white and it's hard to see, but there's only three decals, so it shouldn't be a big problem. Our first sprue is sprue A, which is the turret, and from first glance, it kind of looks like this turret came from a T26 kit. After looking at these sprues, I, I see that on the turret halves, for the left and right side that uh, there are no locator pins for it and we do have detail um, a good texture on the top of the turret and the sides of the turret has rivet detail and we also have some viewports and some pistol ports that's a better view there of the detail uh, at the top, for the top of the turret. Next we'll look at sprue B, which are the tires. Now in counting the tires, um, it appears that we do not have two spares, but only one spare. On to sprue D, which includes our engine assembly, exhaust, some of our axles and wheels here you can see it's fairly decent detail on our uh, engine block and transmission I did notice that on the engine halves there are no locator pins on it either 
So we're going to have to be careful when we go to line those up to make sure everything is square and flush. We have good detail on our radiator. And although you can see in this sprue that there was a steering wheel and there's a gear shifter and a few other parts that are for interior, but this kit doesn't include interior parts. And sprue I, there is our frame. And we have our drive shafts and our center sections of our differentials. And we also have the wheels. I should say more wheels and also our trunnions and trunnion axle. The springs have fairly decent um, detail and not a lot of flash on these sprues right here so it doesn't look too bad at all. And then we come to sprue K. And immediately right off you can see that there is a lot of flash on this sprue. It's almost as if this is different than all the other parts that came with the kit. Huge amounts of flash when it comes to uh, where the, the door goes and the engine access panel goes. And the side of the body of the vehicle doesn't have any rivet detail. Uh, I think they could have done a better job on that. And also this sprue has a slight bow to it. I don't think that it'll affect the parts, but I guess we'll see when we go to build this thing. And in this view, we can see also a lot of flash on the front fenders, but that should clean up fairly easy. Now the rear fenders look really good. And here you can also see the floor panel. But with the floor panel, it looks like these locator holes for one side of the uh, rear fender is cut right into the edge of the panel. I don't know if that's going to be a problem when we go to build this kit or not, but I guess we will find that out. And so that's what we have in this kit. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look for my next video where I'm going to assemble this kit. And uh, I guess that's all for now. Till then, please stay safe.